Hi everyone, it's Kim Chadwick with Around Town with Kim and today I'm very happy to present Adrian Cavanaugh with Fostering Hope. This is a wonderful foundation. They help foster families in the area, specifically here in Montgomery County. But you said you're open in eight counties now? Yes, eight counties. Wow. As of yesterday, eight counties. That's awesome. So tell us a little bit about what you do. So Fostering Hope is a nonprofit. It's a 501c3. We started out in Montgomery County. Uh, myself and my co-director, Alyssa Doherty, are both uh, foster families through Norristown, through um, Montgomery County Office of Children and Youth. Mm -hmm. um, and we recognized that there was just a need to support foster families. We recognized that you are never prepared when a child comes to your home. Mm -hmm. um, and we recognized how hard that is without a support system. And so we created the support system. Wow. So they provide everything from clothing to baby supplies to cribs to, and you can come here and you can shop. Mm -hmm. yep. Wow. Shop completely for free. There's no fee you have to pay. There's no registration you have to do uh, fee wise. Um, you just go online, you register your family um, with who you are with, how many kids, children you need to shop for. Um, and then we schedule a time for you to come out and shop yeah. with us. And what else that you had mentioned before is even the foster child as they grow out of the system can come back. Yes. So we offer support to a wide range, everyone who has been affected by the foster care system. So general care foster families, kinship foster families, as well as pre post adoptive, mm. those under guardianship. And we'd never want to forget our youth. There is mm. a large number of teens in Montgomery County who are in the system, who are aging out and we're yeah. between the age of 18 and 21. Um, so we supply them with all the supports they need. That's um, wonderful. Continuing for as long as they need them. So you had mentioned dignity duffels. Can yeah. you explain what that is? Show us yeah. what that is. So they're over here. Um, so you can kind of see this duffel bag, how large it is right now when it expands. But when it comes uh, shipped to us, it's shipped about this size. Wow. Um, and we do this because when children are removed from their home, a lot of times they just have to grab what they can grab if yeah. they have anything. Right. And um, the closest thing that they have is a trash bag. Yeah. We don't want children putting their belongings in that. So we supply the counties uh, with these bags. They are donated. You can purchase them from our Amazon wish list on our websites. Um, and we get them this small so wow. that the caseworkers can just put them under their car seats yeah. um, in their trunk of their car and then they expand this thing. Yeah. So also bags of hope. Yes. Uh, so these are drawstring backpacks. They're like this. Um, we supply them to everyone entering care. They are packed with everything you could need uh, age appropriately, mostly essentials. toiletries, essentials, mm -hmm. things to get you through yeah. the first 48 hours. And then um, also there's always like a little treat or something in there. Toy. Yeah, just something to put a smile card, or something like that. Yeah, yeah, make it a little bit easier of a transition. Mm -hmm. So you're located right here in Pottstown. What's the exact address? So we are 3277 West Ridge Pike. Our suite number is C301. It's a Pottstown mailing address. We're a little bit closer to Santoga, but. Pottstown. They're in a, a small strip center here, right on Ridge Pike. You just go up the steps. Um, I had a hard time finding them the first time. <laughs> but if you go onto their Facebook page, you can register there for a shopping day. And they do have monthly shopping days where you don't just come in and shop for free, but they also have um, food. Right, you said that someone. Yes, yeah, so we partnered with Home Cooked, which is a local um, organization, and they provide frozen fresh meals that you can mm -hmm. sign up for and gather. Well, they provide us with a bunch of fresh frozen meals um, wow. every open shop. So when yeah. a family comes to shop, they get a free meal. So this is really an amazing organization. If you want to help, there's so many ways that you can. Obviously, you can become a foster parent. Um, secondly, you can donate, and you can do that right through their website, and we'll have that in the link below. Um, and you can go through Amazon, and again, we'll have that link, and you can order these Dignity Duffels, or the Bags of Hope also. Mm -hmm. So any way that you can help, and they are doing, this is completely volunteer run. There are no salaries. So everything that you donate goes straight to the organization to help the foster kids and help the foster families and the kinship families. So, so please don't, it's the holidays right now, but all year round, these companies, these organizations need your support. So I hope that you'll consider that. Yeah, we are. A, I just wanna say we are an organization run by over 33 women wow. across eight counties um, who completely volunteer their time. They are foster parents, caseworkers, moms, teachers. Yeah. It's incredible. So we have a great uh, group of people. And if you wanna donate your time, they will always take more always. hands. Yeah. So thank you so thank much. You. It was so I really nice appreciate it. giving us a tour here yeah. and um, and we hope that you'll check out their website and, and do more to help um, foster families. Thank you.